Hello YouTube, it's Wendy and today we are going to make a DIY um, command center mail holder key thingy. Um, yeah, we're gonna try. I've been really sick. I actually had to call in sick to work today um, because I've been like coughing and sneezing and then I started running a fever and throwing up. So um, I don't know. We'll see if we can get through this. I got up earlier this morning and felt better and then I started to do a few things and then I started feeling really bad again so I went back and laid down but now I'm up again because I don't like to just lay in bed all day long so we'll see if we can get this filmed I really need to get it put together and hung up because there are things all over our kitchen table and it's driving me insane I don't like it so I want to get it straightened out um, get all this stuff put where it belongs so um, also, during this video, I am going to review this new glue gun. Here it is that I got. It's by New Calox. I ordered it from Amazon because I know you guys have heard me complain a bazillion times about my old glue gun, which is this one. And it is by Art Skills, which I don't even think is a grown up company. I think it's a child's company, but. No child should use this glue gun. It is dangerous. I mean, this thing pours glue out the end and look at it. It's like melted its end. I don't know, but I've not even had this glue gun that long and it's terrible. So um, don't buy that glue gun. So I got this new one and I'm gonna give it a try. I liked it because it has this other nozzle you can exchange, put this other nozzle on. It's like a precision, precision nozzle. And I like that. And it came with 10 glue sticks and the glue gun. So I've got it plugged in here. The only thing drawback is its cord is really short. And I don't know why glue gun manufacturers make the cords on their glue gun so short. Because everybody knows that a crafter needs a long cord on their glue gun. I mean, come on, people. Let's get it right. So anyhow, this glue gun, I'm going to give a try. It is leaking some glue out the tip. It's already leaked quite a bit out the tip over here but not as much as my other one and it may just be where it's new you know and it's starting to feed it in or whatever so we'll see how it does it can't be any worse than the last one unless it catches on fire so all right I'm gonna try to stay off this video because I look horrendous today and um, I'm gonna try just to film the video part without showing any part of me but if I get on there just look away look away all right, so here are the products that you're going to need if you want to make this command center, mail thingy, key holder, um, yeah. So, most of these products came from the Dollar Tree, but disclaimer, not all of them did. Um, I will show you what did and what didn't. So, first off, we have this frame. It is from Michaels, and I got this frame back in their um, custom framing section. There's a little place where they put things that I guess people ordered and then they either never picked up or didn't want and so that's where this frame came from it's really nice it's heavy um, it looks like it's bigger than 11 by 14 and I think I paid five dollars for it so um, it's a really good frame and I'm going to use it for this and then I have an 11 by 14 frame certificate frame from the Dollar Tree now this one I painted with chalkboard paint. I just left the glass in. I didn't take anything apart. I left the glass and everything in there. I don't even think I took the picture that was in there out or whatever was in it. And I just painted the glass with chalkboard paint. So this made a chalkboard. Um, on the back of that frame, that frame came with no glass or anything. There was nothing on the back. So I bought a piece of the black foam board from the Dollar Tree. Do not buy foam board from Michaels, the craft stores, Hobby Lobby, any of those places. It is so expensive. It's like $5.99 and up for a piece of that foam board. And you can get it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and there's literally no difference. I mean, none. I can't tell a single difference. So don't do that. Don't buy it from the craft stores. Get it from the Dollar Tree. These are two um, easels from the Dollar Tree. I've kind of prefabbed some of this stuff so y'all didn't have to watch me do it. Um, I broke the backs off. They had, it went down like this. You know, there was a piece. And I just bent this back and forth and back and forth until it broke off. It wasn't hard, but it did get hot. So kind of watch if you do that. I mean, I like burn my finger doing it. Um, and then I zip tied these together with a black zip tie. So you can't hardly see the zip ties. And when we're done, they will be covered up anyway. So this is going to be the mail holder portion. 
So you need two of those, two easels. If you want it that big, you could just do one if you didn't want it really big. Um, this is a little pencil holder from the Dollar Tree that they have these in black and silver. I could only find it in silver, so I had to spray paint it black, but there's that. This is a little desk organizer from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use that. Sorry, my table's a bit of a mess. You're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need burlap ribbon of your choice. This came from the Dollar Tree, and actually I think the scissors came from the Dollar Tree too, a while back. This came from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need the black zip ties. They came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've got some jute twine here from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure I'm gonna use it, but I have it. These did not come from the Dollar Tree. These came from Walmart. These are some hooks that I'm going to hang to put keys on. And looking back, I kind of wish I would have got the kind of hooks that hook to the bottom of this or screw into the bottom, but I didn't because I wasn't quite sure at that point what I was even going to do. So um, I've got these and Chris requested lots of hooks. So I've got three of these and then I've got four of these little cup hooks that I am going to screw into the bottom and I've painted these black. They were gold. So there's four of those and three of the others. I've got a glue gun. I have a small basket that came from Dollar General. Now, <laughs> this basket I actually had on my last command center. I had another command center that hung by the front door and Chris and his brother um, demolished it when they moved our couch. I'm not even sure how they demolished it because it was like completely around the corner on the wall. So. Yeah, I don't know, but they did. And so I'm making a new, better version, a sturdier one, hopefully. So anyway, that's that. You'll need a basket and I'm gonna reuse that basket. And it was really hard to get off of there. So the hot glue worked really good to hold that on. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is cut your foam board to fit inside your big frame, okay? So cut your foam board to fit inside here and spray paint your 11 by 14 certificate frame with your chalkboard paint. Do that first and then um, come back and watch the rest of this video. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so I don't knock you guys over like I'm famous for doing and knocking the camera off. It may jiggle a little, but hopefully I can get through this today without knocking it completely off. And I'm outside today in sunny Fayetteville. It was 104 degrees yesterday. It is hot today. I don't know how hot. I have my, um, my umbrella up on the back porch, so it's not scorching me, but it is pretty warm out. And what I'm going to do is I, let me make sure this is on. Okay. I am going to glue my foam board inside my frame. So just take your hot glue gun, put you some glue down, and just glue it right in there. And you want to use a pretty good amount of glue because um, you want it to stay, whoops, see I am going to knock you guys over, sorry. You want it to be pretty sturdy in there, but I've got it running down the side and I do not want it doing that. And this glue gun seems to be putting out the glue pretty well. Let's see if I can do this before it dries. Okay. I can do it without knocking over the camera. And I do not want to be on camera either. If I'm on camera, don't look. I look terrible today. I mean, like, really, really bad. It's, it's really bad. All right. So there we go. We got a lot of glue. We're gonna put our foam board in there. Just press it down so it glues in. Um, and let's flip it over and see what we got. Okay, not too bad. Um, I got a little bit of glue in places, but I think I can pick that off. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Let me move you back around since I knocked you a bit. Okay, this glue gun seems to be doing all right. Now, let's take our, our um, 11 by 14 frame. We're just gonna put some glue on him. On the edges, and I'm gonna put it all over the back. I want this to glue down really well. Let's get another glue stick. 
Here's the test of a glue gun. Will it go from one stick to the next without making me have to wait? And you're just going to glue all over here. And this one seems like this glue gun seems to do them pretty good. It has two temperatures, though I can't quite figure out um, which one switch. There's just a one and a two, and there's also a switch on the thing, on the cord that I don't know. One is the on off switch and one is the temperature switch, but neither one when I turned it off um, turned the red light off on the glue gun. So I don't know which one was the on off switch and which one's not. Okay, so we got that on there. I hope you can't see me on this video. I swear. I look terrible. Okay, now you should have this. So we've got your chalkboard portion in here and our foam board around the edges. I'm just getting off some of the excess glue there. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our little thingies that we have zip tied together and cut the pieces off and zip tied them together. And I've pre-cut these pieces of burlap ribbon, but you're going to need to take your burlap ribbon and we're going to take it along the back here, wrap it around, go around the front, and wrap it around, and glue, okay? See what I'm doing? I'm going to move all the way up to the top, though. I want to make sure that it's even, and I won't, I'm going to turn the camera off to do this because there's no way I can do this on camera, <laughs> um, but yeah, you're just going to glue it, and if you have the wired kind, it'll kind of hold itself in place until you get it glued. But see what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the sides, whoops, sorry, I'm going to glue the sides to each other right here. And it won't show, and it's going to make a covering that will also make the envelope for the mail thing. So I'm going to pause you guys and come right back after I do. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm just gluing it on the edges up here like this to itself. I'm going to trim that. And then I'm gluing on all of the metal parts right here. I'm gluing the burlap ribbon to the metal parts. See, and stretching it kind of tight because you want it, it's gonna make a little covering. Okay, so keep going, I'll be right back. Okay, there is strip number two glued on. It's kind of messy on the back, but I'll clean it up in a minute. Keep going. Okay, so here is um, section number three glued on, and I have completely misplaced my scissors. Like, I don't know where they could have gone, because they were here. Now they're gone, and there's only this small amount of space for them to be in. Okay, so this is what that is looking like so far. And it's a little loose, so if I can find my scissors, what I'm wanting to do, without getting on camera... What I'm wanting to do is cut a few pieces of the burlap and glue them on the insides just to kind of hold all of this together. Oh, I found them. Okay. So let's see what that would look like. So I'm going to cut a couple strips of the burlap, flip this over, and just glue a couple strips on the inside where the lines are. I want to see if I do this, if it will just pull it all together and it kind of does so I think I'm going to try that okay this glue gun's working pretty good I don't want to do it inside this frame though because I don't want to get the frame gluey just in case I'll rather get my table gluey so let's see how do I want to do this I guess I'm just going to you know, how do I want to do this my hands are so shaky. <laughs> I haven't had anything to eat today. Um, I haven't been able to keep anything down, so I'm just kind of... Ow! Okay, yeah. I'm terrible with glue guns, as everybody knows. Ow! And I have burned the crap out of my fingers. Okay. Man, I hate glue guns so much. But they are so awesome, and I'm getting it all over the frame. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. <gasps> Lord, help me. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was painful. And I got it all over the frame. 
which I hope it will just peel off. I think it will. Yeah, it will. All right. Ooh, I hope you do that a little more gracefully than I just did because that was terrible. But it's on there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so does that help? Yeah, I kind of like the way it does. It just holds everything together a little bit stronger. So I'm going to do that again on this bottom row. And I will not make you watch it again. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so I glued the second strip on. I got smart the second time and laid it down and put the glue on the one that was already on there and then laid this on top of it. And then I trimmed up the edges a little. I'm just going to reinforce the edges just a tad here. And I have got like blisters on my hands now, on my fingers. I need to buy some of those fingertip things that you put on when you glue because clearly I am not very good. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to hot glue it to our certificate frame, right like this. Just take your hot glue and stick it on there however high up that you want it. It doesn't have to be as high as mine. You can move it down however you want to do it. Just take your hot glue and stick it on there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gluing this down to the certificate frame. I just put a lot of glue along the edges of the frame in the middle and I'm just pressing it down until it dries and then we're just gonna let it sit for a minute like that because um, I want to make sure that it's good and dry before I move on because I don't definitely don't want it to fall off and so just kind of press it down in there make sure you have a lot of glue and I know I just got on that camera screen. Daggone it. Look away, people. Look away. Okay. Um, now, the basket. This small little basket for holding, like, the chalk. Because remember now this is a chalkboard. We made this a chalkboard. So the small little basket for holding the chalk, I'm just going to glue right inside here. Just like this. So... Probably the best thing to do is kind of stand this up and just put the glue all along the bottom of this. I'm not standing it up too much because I do want to give that glue a chance to dry and I'm going to put some on the back right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to press this in. And it fits pretty perfectly right there. I like it there. Okay, so we're just going to let that dry. Then I'm going to take this little container right here. And I had debated on how to attach it. It really would look best sitting because I'm afraid if I glue it up here, it's just going to fall. So I think I'm going to set it on the bottom right here and glue it on the bottom. And then I'm going to put this little basket here right here for holding. This little basket's, well, I'm going to have to move it up. Yeah. It's for holding things like um, sunscreen, oh, bug spray. Okay, so if you live in Fayetteville or anywhere in North Carolina, I think, um, the bugs here, oh my gosh, they're like supercharged bugs. I've never seen anything like it. The mosquitoes make huge, huge whelps on my um, skin when they bite me. I mean, I've never had such, I think I might be allergic to the mosquitoes here or something, but anyway... It seems like no matter how much bug spray I put on, they get me every time. I mean, they really get me. Um, so I'm just putting a lot of glue on this basket. Yeah, they just, it's terrible. I have scabs and stuff from where I have, I look like a little kid on my legs where I have been um, scratching and they're just, they make horrible, horrible whelps and oh, they're bad. So anyway, um, every time I go outside here, I spray myself down <laughs> with bug spray and I've been wearing those little, um, their little bracelet things called buggables and they're supposed to help. And I mean, we've got all kinds of, um, torch fuel and we've done everything. It's been crazy, but Sadie is allergic to the fleas here. Um, she's never had a problem back in West Virginia, but here she is allergic to the fleas and so... We've had to have her at the vet. She's taking allergy medicine now. I mean, that's got, I've got to say, that's the only drawback to North Carolina so far. 
um, is just that we've had a terrible time with all of that. Okay, now, so we've got all that gluing and drying. So I am going to take the cup hooks and I'm going to put, I'm going to hang the cup hooks right on this part and the other hooks I'm gonna put over here. So, because they're gonna to have to stick up a little bit. So let me see if I can do this without knocking the camera off. These cup hooks are still a little tacky and I sprayed them like two hours ago. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the cup hooks. I'm gonna center them where I want them to go. Let's see if I can move you back a little. And I'm just gonna screw them into the bottom of the frame. And now my fingers are really, really sore because I just burned the tips of them <laughs> with that glue gun. <laughs> So these are kind of hard to get in at first. You have to really, really put some, really, I may have to get Chris to come and help me get these in. I mean, I know I can do it if I sit here and try hard enough, but it's going to take me forever and I don't feel good. Okay, so I'm going to pause you again and either get this cup hook screwed in or go get Chris. Hold on. Okay, so I still haven't got the cup hooks on. <laughs> I went and got Chris's drill. I drilled holes a little bit in the bottom of this frame. I put the cup hook in. I still cannot get the thing to go in there. And Chris is on the phone, so he's working. So I'm gonna have to um, wait a minute on those. So I'm putting these other hooks on. And like I said, I wish I would have got the kind that hung out the bottom, but I did not do that. I wasn't thinking clearly or just didn't know exactly what I was gonna do. So I am putting these on. And just letting the bottom hole hang down and honestly I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference I think it's gonna be fine so these screw in just fine I'm not sure why I'm having such trouble with the cup hooks but I am okay so there's number two number three is gonna go in the middle Here. Okay. And I'm just eyeballing it for the extreme OCD people. You probably won't want to measure, but I'm not extreme OCD, I'm just regular OCD. So I'm just eyeballing it. And I have a cold. I don't feel good. So I'm just eyeballing it today. Whoops. This one I'm having a little trouble getting in because of the thing that's that cup is in the way. But it'll go here in a second. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on. Having issues with this one. This one's really hard to get in for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, the cup's not that much in the way. It's not blocking it, so... Why am I having such a hard time getting this one in? There we go. It's just being really difficult. So we've got our three hooks on the bottom and like I said I do want the cup hooks to go here and I think yeah, the glue's dried enough to where I can stand it up so uh, this is what it's looking like so far can you see it I can't I don't know if you can see it or not because I can't <laughs> but let me pick the camera up and then I'm, I don't know that you can see it so we've got our little hooks on the bottom there and our cup for pens and pencils and stuff got our basket up here for our bug spray and all that our mail holder and our little basket there in the chalkboard that we're gonna put chalk and stuff in so I'm going to take this upstairs and see if Chris can screw the cup hooks in and I will be right back okay I got the cup hooks in all by myself because <laughs> I didn't even go upstairs I just um, used the drill to make the holes even bigger so it worked Okay, so here's what we've got. And now what I would like to do 
is take and find my twine, wherever it went, and Kelly Barlow from Kelly Barlow Creations makes the cutest little twine flowers. And I'm going to accent this thing with a couple of them just to kind of tie everything together. So if you get your twine and your scissors, let me find the beginning of this twine and I am going to show you how to make the really cute little flowers that she makes. If I can find the beginning of the twine. Okay, I'm telling you, this day. All right, here we go. So I wanna make a fairly big one. So I'm going to take the twine, I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers like this. Just over and over and over and over until I get the size flower that I want. Or the size, you know, the thickness. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Take it off my fingers. Take another little piece of twine and tie it in the middle. Okay, just tie it real tight. Okay, and then you kind of fan, whoops, kind of fan your flower out a little bit on the edges. And if it's not even, like mine's kind of, there we go. Okay, then I'm going to make another of the same width and thickness, or pretty close anyway. Like I say, I'm just eyeballing things today. <laughs> okay, so that seems about good. I'm going to cut it. Do the same exact thing that I did on the last one. this and I've got black paint on my fingers you'll have to excuse the black paint on my fingers I spray paid, painted those cup hooks hours ago and I don't know if it is so hot here that it just won't dry or what but it's not dry it's tacky and I just kind of goofed up my flower how did I do that and where are they okay so I'm gonna spread them out here like this and I can hear a lot of sirens I don't know what's going on but something is fire trucks and sirens god help whoever it is I always pray when I see an ambulance go by or fire truck hear fire trucks and sirens because somebody's you know something's wrong somewhere okay and then you're going to take these and you're going to hot glue them together and snip off these little without cutting your flower part, snip off these little things before you tie it together. Okay, now hot glue one to the other in a crisscross pattern. Let's see if I can do this without killing my fingers. So you're just gonna hot glue them together in a crisscross pattern and look it makes the cutest little flower I'm gonna hold it together here for a couple more seconds then you can fluff it up and How you feeling, honey? Um, okay I'm filming a video I'm getting this done look oh, you're filming right now yeah and glue it on here Nice. Look at all those hooks on the bottom. Oh, those look great. Fantastic. For Chris, because he requested lots of hooks. Okay, so this is the finished um, mail key command center. Um, my last video cut off a little bit because it said the camera got too hot. I told you it's hot in North Carolina. Um, so it's got the hooks for holding the keys. And I put a little, a few little touches up at the burlap flower there. I actually took and glued some more strips across here just to make it more cohesive. I put um, a, a label, chalkboard label with mail, little um, chalkboard thing with notes on it. Those all came from the Dollar Tree. There's the chalkboard pin, another little flower, just to make it 
kind of cute. So there it is. I really like the way it turned out. I think it's really pretty. Um, it'll be very functional. You know, we've got the basket with the bug spray, <laughs> Sadie's leash hanging there. So yeah, it'll be really functional for us. And Chris has it up there, so it's not going to fall. So um, that is the DIY for the command center. And um, if you like these kind of DIYs, Dollar Tree hauls and beading things, um, go ahead and like and subscribe and um, share the channel. And I am going to go get some hot tea with honey and <clears throat> lay down for a little while and see if I can kick this crazy cold. But you guys have a great um, week and visit my website at www.beadonawirejewelry.com. I'll put it in the comments below in the description, I mean the description box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.